I recently got back from a full week of travel across three different airports and four airport lounges. And yes, I did bring my cell phone camera along with me. That way I'm able to show you a lot of video clips and pictures from those lounges. And of course, to get into those lounges, I had my trusty travel companion, the American Express Platinum Card. So I thought to myself, what a great topic for a YouTube video because out of all the premium travel cards in the market in the US that you can apply for directly online, the Amex Platinum Card is number one in terms of giving you the greatest amount of lounge access and B, with so much lounge access, people have a lot of questions in terms of which lounges can I get into? What are the policies? Can I bring my guests with me, etc. So we're going to answer all those types of things in today's video. So let's get things started. That way you'll be able to have as much fun as I do on your future trips. The first lounge network that you'll be able to get into with your Amex Platinum card consists of the Amex Centurion lounges. For access to these lounges, you'll have to show the following. First, your Amex Platinum card or an eligibility code. Two, your boarding pass for a confirmed same-day reservation on any airline flying any class. And third, a government-issued photo ID. For entry, this is a departure-only lounge, meaning that you can only use it before your departing flight, not after you arrive at your destination airport. And for the time that you can spend there, it's up to three hours prior to your departure. And by the way, if you're wondering what that eligibility code is, it's basically a digital pass that takes the place of your Amex Platinum Card. In fact, here's how you do it. Simply log into the Amex app on your phone, select the Platinum Card, and choose the Membership tab. On the next screen, scroll down a little bit and then tap on the section called Airport Lounge Access. Then search by location and choose the lounge that you want to get into. From there, select the Get Eligibility Code button there at the bottom of the screen. Also notice a little bit above there, there's a live update showing the capacity of the lounge. The different capacity indicators you may see include not busy, a little busy, very busy, and almost full. On the screen that follows, you'll then be able to add guests if needed and then select confirm. And finally, you'll be able to view that eligibility code and present it at the desk when you check in in place of your Amex Platinum card. Do note that the code expires after 30 minutes, so you wanna make sure that you don't get it too early. Now, in terms of the guest policy, it's one of the least generous in the industry. Definitely bad for some, but very positive for others because Amex has been working hard to keep the overcrowding issue down. As I record this video, you can bring up to two free guests per visit after spending $75,000 per calendar year on your Amex Platinum card. However, for those of you who are not able to satisfy that spend requirement or simply choose not to, the following will apply. Children below the age of two are free with proof of their age. Children ages two through 17 are $30 each and then adults 18 plus are $50 each. And if you'd like to view the different locations of these lounges, you can go to thecenturionlounge.com and view them all there. And here's a quick video walkthrough tour of my experience using the Centurion Lounge at Las Vegas. I made sure to try some of their chicken, macaroni and cheese, and a couple of their desserts with a glass of water, and by the way, it was absolutely fantastic. Here's another quick shot of their restroom facilities, which are way better than the ones you'll find in the terminal, and also whenever you see any of those black signs on tables that says reserved, those are for the true Centurion card holders, aka the real VIPs. Now let's move on to lounge network number two, which are called the Escape Lounges, the Centurion Studio Partner. To get into these, you'll again have to show 
your Amex Platinum card or an eligibility code, a boarding pass for a confirmed same-day reservation on any airline flying any class, and a government-issued photo ID. Unlike the Centurion Lounge, these allow entry for both departure and arrival, meaning you can use them before you take off and after you arrive at your destination airport. For the time allowance, there is no limit to how long you can stay, but of course that is the time you enter to the lounge closing time. For the guest policy, you can bring up to two free guests with you per visit and children under 24 months of age are free. Do be aware that the terms do say that you should notify the lounge in advance on the email written there on the screen with the date, time of arrival, and child's age, although I'm not sure how strictly that's enforced. Beyond that, additional guests will pay the day pass rate and bookings for groups over six people are not permitted. To view the different locations, I put a couple different links on the screen for both both the US and the UK. And here's my walkthrough tour of the Escape Lounge at Oakland International Airport. I was also there while they were transitioning from breakfast offerings to lunch offerings, so I had a little bit of a taste of both of those meals there. I enjoyed them very much. Also, given that this lounge is on the smaller side, there were no restrooms inside, but they're right across the gate and really easy to get to. Now, before we move on to the next section here, if you have the MX Platinum card, you know that it has a lot of different benefits and rewards to manage. Plus, if you're also using it with other credit cards to make for a better overall travel card strategy, you might even have a little bit of difficulty managing all these different cards. So if you want a great way to put all your cards in one place with simple to see dashboards, check out today's sponsor called Matt's Rewards. Matt's Rewards is an app that allows you to manage your credit cards, rewards, and benefits all in one place. The main dashboard here gives me a great overview. I can see my rewards balance in dollar terms, my card balance, also my utilization, and my available credit, along with when my bills are due and my sign up bonus trackers. Plus, as I scroll down further, it also displays my credit scores across different banks here, which is really cool to be able to monitor that. The next tab over called activity allows me to see all my transactions across all my cards in one place, including which transactions are pending, which ones are posted, any annual fees that came due, credits I received, and more. Then moving over to the best card tab, it tells me which card to use for a certain transaction so I can always earn the greatest amount of rewards. And if I tap on one, for example, like dining with my Discover card, which is earning 5% back right now, I can also see other alternative cards, in this case my Amex Gold card, and also customize the value of the points based on how I value them. And then the Benefits tab automatically activates all of my Amex offers, Chase offers, and more for me so I don't have to do any of that manual work myself. So this is available with the Gold level of Matt's Awards. There are plenty of other free features as well. So if you want to at least try the gold level entirely free for your first month, there's a link down below in the description. Definitely try it out and see if you like how Max Awards can simplify all of your credit card management. Now back to the video. Let's move on to our third lounge network, the Delta Sky Clubs. To access these, you'll have to show your Amex Platinum card, a boarding pass for a confirmed same-day reservation on a Delta-operated flight, that is Delta or a Delta Connection, or a Delta marketed flight operated by WestJet, that is 006 ticket numbers, and you can also be flying any class. Third, make sure you also have your government issued photo ID with you. For entry, this will be for both departure and arrival, and for the time allowance, you can get up to three hours prior to departure and any time for connections. Regarding those guests, you can bring up to two guests or immediate family, that is spouse or domestic partner and children under the age of 21 at a day pass rate of $50 per person 
per visit as of May 2023. Translation, no free guests. And for pinpointing the different locations, you can go to the link there on the screen. Now, given that I haven't flown Delta in many years, here is an inside look into Delta's newest and flashiest Sky Club at LAX. This was an article put together by Emily McNutt for CNN Underscored, so credit goes there. But as you can see here, the decor is very, very nice, especially with some of the entryways and the, you know, the nice marble floors, really nice touching for the lighting. The food uh, offerings are also very nice in these types of lounges. Plus their bar areas are also top notch too. And some of them even have outdoor viewing decks as they call them the sky deck. If you really are into plane watching or just want to basically get yourself a face tan outdoors while you're waiting for your flight. Up next, we have the airspace slash aspire lounges. I'm not sure if there are any airspace branded ones left. I believe they've all been converted over to aspire, but if not, let me know down below in those comments. To get into these lounges, you'll have to show your platinum card, a boarding pass for a confirmed same day reservation and your government issued photo ID. For the entry requirements, it seems to be a departure only lounge, although I can't guarantee that. The terms in the Amex app state that the lounge is accessible to all passengers departing from Terminal 2. And while that is true, it does not say that those are the only passengers that can use the lounge. So to be determined if it can also be used upon arrival, if you have used this lounge after you've landed in San Diego, let me know down below in the comments. And for the time allowed, it seems to be up to three hours prior to departure, although it could be longer. The parent company website, executivelounges.com, shows that people who buy day passes get up to eight hours. While the Priority Pass website for the same lounge mentions three hours, and the San Diego website mentions nothing at all. And yes, this lounge is also accessible via Priority Pass. That was not the case in the past, but it is now. I've actually visited this lounge a couple times over the years, but that was back when it was branded as an airspace lounge. Ever since its conversion over to Aspire and a bit of a remodel on the inside, I have not been there yet. So here are a couple images from the parent website, again, executivelounges.com. It's a pretty, uh, I'd say, small space, but uh, the overall atmosphere is quite decent with a lot of nice windows to be able to see outside and some nice food options as well to snack on while you're there. Moving on to the Nets Lounge Network, these are the Plaza Premium Lounges. To get in, all you have to do is to show your Amex Platinum card, a boarding pass for a confirmed same-day reservation, and your government-issued photo ID. The entry requirements may vary from one to another, but it's typically going to be departure and arrival, and the time limit may also vary, but it's typically going to be a three-hour maximum. Here's what they say online with their terms, that is departure flights will be a maximum of three hours, arrivals for two hours, and transit flight of four hours. It could also be any other time frame as they notify you on an individual basis. So a best bet is to just ask the person at the front desk. If you're traveling with other people, you can bring up to two free guests, and children under the age of two are free. Additional guests can be brought in at the day pass rate, right? and if any of them are children between the ages of two and 11, they may be eligible for a discounted rate that is currently 30% off the adult rates. To view the different locations of these Plaza Premium Lounges, visit that link right there on the screen. For this video tour, I visited the location at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport, and it's a very, very small lounge, just a little over 1,400 square feet. So this will be a really quick tour, but I'll also mix in a few images that I took as well. Also, here's a photo that I took at the check-in desk showing the different ways to get in and the different time requirements, plus their hours of operation, along with some of their cold food options, including a couple different types of wraps, potato salad and banana pudding with a wafer topping, and some of their hot food options, including soup, pot roast, and potatoes. I decided to try a little bit of everything, and overall, it gets a thumbs up from me. Up next, we have the lounge access program that's pretty much everywhere these days. It's called Priority Pass Select, and the way you can get into these is with your Priority Pass card that is physical or digital, and you receive that separately in the mail once you enroll or activate this benefit with your Amex Platinum card. Here are a couple images of my personal 
personal cards with the physical one there on the left and the digital card in the Priority Pass app on the right. You can also add it to Apple Wallet for added convenience. In addition to your Priority Pass card, you'll also have to present your boarding pass for a confirmed same-day reservation and your government-issued photo ID if required. The entry requirements for these lounges may vary, but it's typically departure and arrival, and also the time allowance here may vary too, but it's typically going to be about a three-hour maximum. To mention some exclusions that come with Priority Pass via an American Express card, you currently are not able to get into partner restaurant, spa, and retail locations, only the actual lounges themselves. Looking over to the guest policy, you can bring up to two free guests with you and children. Well, this may vary here based on the lounge itself, but they're typically going to be free if they're under the age of two. Also, additional guests can be brought in with you when you pay the day pass rate. To view and search for different locations, you can go to PriorityPass.com and use their search tool there at the top of the screen. Also, both their website and their mobile app do a great job of showing you things like opening hours, the different facilities and amenities, location, conditions, and additional info from there. And for this video tour, I went into the club at LAS or Las Vegas airport, so check it out here. One of the things that was new here from the last time that I visited a few years ago was that there were QR codes throughout the lounge to order food and drink. So I gave it a go. Ordering their chicken, gumbo, and rice, and a beer, not only did it all taste good, but also was delivered very quickly, just within a few minutes. Also, the bathrooms at this lounge are individual suites, so there's a lot of privacy, and they're also very well maintained. And for our final lounge program, we have Lufthansa lounges. If you want to use any of these, there are a few restrictions to be aware of. First of all, to get in, you'll have to present your Amex Platinum card, as well as a boarding pass for a confirmed same-day reservation on a Lufthansa Group flight, that is Lufthansa itself, Swiss Airlines, or Austrian Airlines, plus a government-issued photo ID. For the entry requirement, these are departure only, and for the time allowed, you can stay up to three hours prior to the departure or any time for connections. Now, Lufthansa has a variety of different tiers for their lounges, and the Platinum Card allows you to get into two of those. The first are the Lufthansa Business Lounges, and despite the name, you can get into these when you're flying any ticket class. However, if you want to go into the Lufthansa Senator lounges, you must be flying business class. Unfortunately, if people are traveling with you, there are no complimentary guests here, but some locations may allow you to bring in a guest for a fee. To look up the different locations, you can visit the link there on the screen. While I personally have not used any of these myself yet, here are a couple pictures from their website for the business lounge here, and also the Senator lounge. Obviously very upscale, clean, and a nice place to relax compared to the terminals. And and that is everything that you need to know about lounge access with the American Express Platinum Card. If you enjoyed today's video and believe it could benefit other people, then please help me get it in front of them by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on those notifications. Also check out the links down below in the description area to earn some more cash back when you shop online through Rakuten. To sign up for Max Rewards, which is a great app to manage multiple credit cards, rewards, and benefits all in one place. And to view my site with some great credit card offers that I've organized into different categories to help you find the cards that you like best. I thank you all for watching today's video. Hope it brought you some great value. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And while you're waiting for it to be uploaded to this channel, always remember that you are great. Now go lounge in style.